So, hello and welcome back. Um, a few setbacks. Um, been the my bail is broke again. So let me pop that there. So yeah, we've managed to get two of the fields bailed. I was going to bail one just up there, um, but what's happened? So let me open that. I don't know if you can see this arm. Just down here. That should attach onto that. It drives that. It then drives that. The, um, yeah, so your. I can't even remember what they're called. <laughs> Belt. That then drives you your pickup reel. So that's the issue. We can't get hay up there. But what it has also done. So this should have moved. But it does. There's a bearing just down there. So I think what's, what's happened over time. That bearing is worn. I've not picked up on it. And it's that movement. As it's going along, it's that movement. And it's just put too much stress on that joint. Popped it off, unfortunately. Um, so I was having a major meltdown yesterday because um, it was what time was it? I think it was about half past two. It happened. I think it was GL. Um, but yeah, bring a couple of people. I've got a chap coming today. Um, about eleven o'clock. The issue is, I'll be at work. Ideally, I'd row it up just before he got here. Um, but it's now six o'clock, so I'm gonna row it up. I know there's a dew, I'll have to row it up. Um, sun, sun's up, there's some warmth in it, and just hope that it dries it out. Also flicking it about, if, if there are any large sort of dew droplets on it, it sort of knocks them off, it just helps. Yeah, hopefully we'll have it bailed and then we'll start carting everything off. So I did, I did start last night, loaded the trailer up with the tractor in the barn just down here. I'm just walking past. It smells gorgeous. So hello. Like we say, it's been a bit annoying um, that the bailer broke. I literally done about 14 bales and then um, that crank arm decided to break. I got my family here as well. That's the most frustrating thing. Now, I know it's not ideal to like um, sort of rim it up. Um, in the morning, I mean the time. I don't know if you can see that. 6.48 in the morning. There is a dew, but what I'm doing, I'm just moving it over slightly. And uh, not, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> not only that, it's, um, we seem to have it, it has actually happened in the middle. So if I'd have left this for like overnight, what happens naturally is that the grass settles. But we also have, and it's really bad for it around here, it's happened, yeah, it's happened twice in this field, once when I was doing the pond field. It says that those like vortexes um, that seem to pick the hay up um, and then just chuck it down wherever it wants. So by doing this, I'm fluffing the rows up because I can, I can feel the heat coming through now. And just by moving it over, hopefully, yeah, it's, it's moved it here, the wind. Yeah, there's a bit here as well. Yeah, so it just picks it up for, for Paul, who's going to do some bailing for me. Just stand it back up into a nice swamp in here. Yeah, so it probably has just worked its way. Yeah, it's dumped it all over the hedgerow. So instead of saying, yeah, Paul, come and do some bailing for me, everything's all ticket to boo. Um, you'll be able to get straight in. Um, I'll just go through. I know it's a little bit of diesel, but it makes the job tidier and more efficient and we'll leave the field in a clean estate so there's not just like random piles of grass everywhere that haven't been raised. Yeah, hopefully you should be able to see it just out of the bag. Yeah, 
Crack it up. Be upset about the bailer, but that's part and parcel of it. It's, it's happened. I, I can't go back and change it. Um, yeah, but pricing the parts up, I did consider welding um, the arm up, and with it being, but well, with it being like cast, I don't really like the idea of that. So for a genuine part, a cost of about seventy pounds, I might as well do that. Um, and it also has um, an in-house bearing, like in a housing, um, which carries the. I can't just shove any old bearing in because it carries. It actually carries the hex drive um through to the pulley but like i said i think it's the pulley uh, the bearing that's sort of gone um i've not picked up on it and over time it's that sort of movement that's transmitted its way through the hex bar onto the crank arm and it's that that's ultimately sheared um out of the joint but yeah all in about 150 quid so considering that the baler, I think I've aged it. I'll, I'll have a look at the plate, but I'm sure it's older than me. I'm 34, and for it to still to pump out bales as good as it is, it's worth investing in. And that's the plan. So, back from work, Paul's nailed it. Uh, that I rode up this morning. Took 202 bales. I think it's approximately, I'll check because I'll do have all the thing. It's about, it is about two acres. So I mean, we've not done that. Oh yeah, there's a reason why they're called idiot bricks. It's because when you're not mechanized like me, it's just hard, hard, hard work. Um, seriously hard. So, I've been here, Time's in. It's now five o'clock, I got here about half past four. That's the second bottle of water I've been through. I've only shifted about 52, I think. And I am dripping. Seriously dripping. Yeah, we've made the hay. These to come in. I'll show you this as well. So, just let me get further up into the field. So, after the calamity of yesterday, and um, the baler breaking, I thought I'll utilize my time, come through, start stacking the bales just so they don't absorb. Uh, too much moisture. So yeah, did half the field, and then yeah, honestly, I could not do it. It's just yesterday. I think today is hotter, but we don't have that intense sun. But yeah, there's a fair few to shift. Let's crack on. So I am 
I'm going to spend a little bit of time um, just stacking these up. Um, these singles and stack them up. I know we're like I've got threes around there, but you're like into sixes. And um, purely because just on the underside, let me show you on this one. <clears throat> Just on the underside, it's just drawing a little bit of moisture um, from there. So if I can stack them up um, like that, um, all the better. Not only that, but whilst they're at in the sun, they're still sort of, or they start scorching. Um, yeah, so again, let me show you on this. So if you look at the color of this and how pale it is, but on the underside, it's a lot greener. I like that, but I don't like that. Whether that's me being picky, I don't know. But I just like, not too green, it's a nice shade of green, um, the hay. So just by stacking them up again, it just stops that sort of, that bleaching, um, or scorching a little bit. Plus I get a bit of a workout. So yeah, I'll crack on with that. That's the third load I've done. I'll just park that um, in the barn tonight. Um, I think the time is now about half past six. I did start at six o'clock this morning, so that's 12 hour day. Um, and I would very much like to see my son, um, even though it'd be just like a quick sort of peck on the cheek before he gets to bed. I would very much like to see Harrison because I had to sneak out of the house this morning um, about quarter to six. Try not to wake him up because my wife was working and I shift last night so she wanted a bit of a laying, or not laying, she, want, she just wanted to sleep. Um, so yeah, I'll stack these up, bunch, just bunch them up and then it, it also makes things easier for me tomorrow and um, when I come through um, to load up again so instead of just like driving up loading three driving up loading three um, I can literally just drive straight up the center of those and um, loading the trailer left and right so there's five there six there six there five there just makes things um, a little bit easier I know it's double handling but like I say they're off the ground no scorching less moisture being drawn up into them um, and it's easier so I'm happy to sacrifice 20 minutes today um, for that tomorrow <laughs> 